So, not a fantastic start to the day at the minute. I need to take the teleporter down to Dad's, or the telehandler, so we can fill up with C because he's going drilling, I've got school talk. But at the minute, uh, I took the key out of the teleporter, and we we're very safety conscious, and I don't want to get pinched and go for a cash point. And I left him in my pocket last night, and normally I put my jeans, it's the tour of the house, here, next to my wellies, because my jeans are sometimes dirty, I don't want to go through the rest of the house. Um, and I did notice one of my sons playing with my keys last night, didn't think much about it, told him to put them up and took them off him. And I suddenly realised this morning that the teleport key was in that pocket and it is now somewhere in the house. I've got no idea where it is. I can't find it. Oh, never mind, right. Let's get into it. Let's see if I can find the key. <laughs> So I can't find it, I've looked, well I say I look around the house, I've, I've skimmed the house very quickly because I want to get on, I cannot see it, so the telephone will have to stay there for a bit. If anyone's wondering why it's parked up near the house, sometimes I just can't be bothered to walk all the way from the yard, so I just drive something up and park it there. Right, look he's just turned up. So we're going to, morning, we're going to take the drill back down Farmer Clive's because he's going to start drilling. Uh, he's also got a call in to Pex as well on the way round to pick a key up because uh, they fell out of the pocket last night and Jack's hid it somewhere in the house and I cannot find it. <laughs> the teleport. Lovely. Good job that fit all. One key fits all. Well, that's a bit of a less reaction I thought it was going to be. That's why I filmed it so it didn't shout at me. Well, you've got a reputation you look, for losing the keys. You've lost keys. I didn't. I the kid. Carolee's lost, lost the car keys. Yeah, Carolee lost it in an amazing way. And you can't do anything with a discovery with uh, no keys. Doesn't say it here. And now your even son's losing keys. Anyway, let's get on. It's, it is cold. Right. So apparently, Farmer Jordan and Farmer Clyde decided we're going to riddle some tires. So we're going to go and start doing that. Well, we can't sit out in deck chairs in the sun, can we? Might as well be in a shed with a heater on. Really. It won't rain that much. Right, let's get the drill back anyway. We'll have a look then. Come on then. So Farmer Clive has been to the local supplier and we now have a second key. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't know what happened to the other one. I really don't. It's somewhere in the house. We'll find it. It'll turn up. I'm going to have a habit of losing keys. Hello. It doesn't work. Hold on. Yeah, it does. That was just me being a little bit dim there. I don't know why. <laughs> For a second, though, it's not going to fit, but it did. So, fingers crossed, this is going to start. I have good faith it is, because for some reason, tractor keys and stuff are common cut. Ready? We're away! So, I've left Farmer Clive doing Farmer Clive stuff. I don't know, he's got a grinder out, so... Um, your guess is as good as mine. I'm not 100% sure what he's doing, to be honest with you. But anyway, he's doing something. So, I've got to get ready. Uh, we're off to do a school talk with, Bre with Kids Country Breakfast Week. So, I'll explain more as we go. But um, we're going to schools in the morning, or in this case, the afternoon, explaining all the stuff they have for breakfast and how it's made. So, there's a zone where they make pancakes and they find out how uh, flour and eggs and all that is produced to go into it. Uh, this, then they find all about sausages and pigs. Uh, they also find out about me with a meat square, so they see how wheat is made to go into cereal, flour, and all that kind of stuff. 
and also to see a tractor as well. So we're finally in the truck. I've had a shower. Uh, the stuff is all loaded. There's my boxes of toys or models or teaching aids. That's what we're going to call them, my teaching aids. They're in the truck, ready to go. Right, let's get to the school because once again, I am running late as per normal. You know me. <laughs> running late, but looking extremely great. Oh, then I'm back into that tree. <laughs> So I just got here and it's absolutely peeing and rain. I'm just going to run in, see if there's the right school for a start, and have a think of um, getting the wrong school. But that's definitely, I think it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Anyway, we're going to go in, get signed in, go and set the stuff up, and then teach the kids about agriculture. Watch this space. I've got a little bit of time, so I thought I'd just explain what we're doing in here. So, on the floor we have a metre square, which has disappeared at the minute, that's there. And I explained to the children how we grow wheat within the metre square. So, how many seeds we plant? About 300. And then how many litres of water it takes to grow, how many hours of sunshine, and then what it produces. So, out of that metre square it should produce all this about all this amount of wheat. It's about 10,000 grains, and that should make about 24 bowls of cereal, two loaves of bread, and also the flour. And then I go on to talk about sugar beet in a similar kind of way. Anyway, just wait for the kids and we'll get on. Think about it's oil. It's, it's oil. oil. Thank oh, you. Strawberry sauce on their ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's what the mustard, mustard gets made into flour and then gets made into this product, ham <laughs> sandwich. Oh, right then. Yeah. See, that's Can you take a photo as well? So that was Farmer Jimmy talking all about the crops he grows on his farm. Yeah. And everyone's absolutely amazed at the size of the sugar beet. Hold <laughs> out. I think big Farmer Jimmy has looked for the biggest one he could find. Now this is obviously an average size for Daintree Farm. It's so big it is. It's massive, isn't it? <laughs> We'll get ready of them in a lot. <laughs> yeah. No doubt no, Farmer Club have a joke about that at some point. So we'll try and get Farmer Jimmy in a bit, but this is what he uh, this is what he does, he explains all the crops he grows on his farm. So we've got the wheat, we've got the oats, we've got the barley, all seed rape, and of course mustard, peas, and of course it's massive sugar beets. Anyway, so that is the tra and then they go look at the tractor over there. So we'll um yeah, catch you at Farmer Jimmy in a minute and grab him. Oh, go back inside. Need to oh, so, to come outside, it's cold here. I said we'll just catch you at Farmer Jimmy. How we doing? Uh, we just seen the size of the sugar beet a minute ago. Everyone's taking a photo. We managed to get you in action as well. <laughs> oh, that's, that, that was a small one. That was a, that yeah, was... that's what they were, that's what literally what Ron just said. Apparently, this is just, a, just, just an average size. Yeah, average size one. over at Thorny. This is average size at Thorny. Did that go all right? Oh, brilliant. Yeah, great, great, great crowd. Yeah, great, great crowd. kids. Yeah. Good, good questions. Right. Yeah, really good. The teachers go involved as well. That's a, yeah. That's what helps as well. Yeah, definitely. So Jimmy's now done. That's why he's packing away very quickly. Yeah, all done. Ready for tomorrow. He's eager to get back to the farm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he is. Right, I'll see Jimmy, Father Jimmy later in the week, I should think. Bye. That's it. Just done the class, just packing down. You got to put all this stuff back in three boxes. That's a special way of doing it. That went all right. The kids were a little bit towards the end, a little bit tired, but they got for it. They seem to enjoy it anyway. He was going off. I think they want us to disappear. <laughs> Getting packed up quickly. Do I get hoovered up? Better getting Farmer Luke's uh, wife's good books. Bring the bin in. This has been bin day. So it is a hundred percent official. The keys lost. Oh yes. Yes. Even Mrs. Farmer Luke's been looking for it. <laughs> it it gone. We have, we do have a problem with keys. <laughs> Where he's put it, I've got no idea. Well, you're blaming him, but it's lost. So you don't actually know that he took it and has hidden it. There's a good high percentage that it was. 
We haven't checked the toy kitchen yet. We haven't checked the toy kitchen. Under the sink in his room or something. I know I'll put it in there, but anyway, it has disappeared. We have a new one, so it'll turn up at some point somewhere. Farmer Carolyn is now going to be looking for it. No, I'm not. I'm just happy that you've now lost a key because it makes me slightly redeemed from my no. incidents. No, it really doesn't. Losing a key <laughs> is different to losing a, a keyless entry car key. Well, I found it again. Well, someone found it. <laughs> we're not going down that route. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> no, we're going to stop there because I do not want uh, to, someone to see me Shouted at Farmer Karen. <laughs> Look, there's an air tag on it now. There's no reason <laughs> so. I'm joking. We have a happy marriage. <laughs> <laughs> right. I hope you enjoyed that episode. That was a really different one than farming. We actually see a bit of school talks and stuff like that. So I personally quite enjoy filming that. So from yesterday's episode being not so good to today's episode being really good. Um, I would hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, subscribe. Tell your friends and family. Is that right, Farmer Carolyn? Yeah. Tell everyone you know. Shay from the rooftops. Thank you so much for watching, and from me, I'm Farmer Karen. Tara. See you later.